Hey everyone, this is Will. So in this video, I'm going to explain to you the main differences between MailChimp and MailerLite. And there is definitely a winner. So make sure to watch the whole video. Also, I have made another video on my main channel where I compare all of the email marketing tools. So definitely check that video out. I will leave a link down below in the description. And also I have discounts for both of these tools, all of the tools that I mention all of that so check out discounts and bonuses down below and I do give out one of my courses completely for free every single week so just press thumbs up and subscribe to my channel to enter the competition now let's jump straight into the video all right so the first thing let's start out from automations because i think automations are pretty much the most important part when it comes to email marketing so honestly when it comes to automation between mailchimp and mailer they are very very similar i do have to say but there are a couple of differences and i'm just going to talk about the differences that's the only thing that you really need to understand so the first difference that is a pretty big deal i would say when you're building your automation you have all of these different steps of uh, what emails you want to send out, what conditions you want to have, if you want to have delays, so on and so forth. So the one thing, uh, what you can do with uh, MailChimp, basically when you choose um, sort of what's um, the condition, you can basically check campaign activity. So um, in this um, case, whatever is happening within your automation, and in here, as you can see, they give you options of opened, clicked, was sent, did not open, did not click, was not sent. So what this means, if someone clicked on the email or something within the email, then and you can choose which email as well. So in this case, we have the first step. Uh, so this was the first email uh, sent out in the campaign. And if someone clicked something within the email, then we can send them to one direction or if they didn't click, we can send them different direction. And if the email was open, then we can choose them if we want to send them one way or the other way. The one thing that MailerLite does a little bit better when it comes to this. Um, so as you can see here, we got all of the conditions as well. But what they allow you to do is had any link clicked or had a specific link clicked. And this can be very, very powerful because sometimes I don't really care, let's say if I have my social media perhaps at the bottom of my email and someone clicks on that, but my email series are really selling my digital product. I don't really care if someone just clicked on social media email, uh, link. I really care if they clicked on that specific link that leads to my digital product. So I think this is pretty cool that MailerLite actually allows you to have this option that someone clicked on specific link. Um, and as you can see as well, it was opened and did not have a specific link clicked. So again, they do have these couple of extra features that I think are very, very powerful that MailChimp actually doesn't have. Another little thing when it comes to automations is after you have set all the conditions and everything, you can take some sort of action what you want to do with um, people that performed or well qualify for a certain um, condition. And as you can see here, basically what we can do, or sorry, let me show you from the side. So what you can do, you can send emails, you can add or remove tags, and you can add or remove from a group with MailChimp. So MailChimp has a tagging system. So basically you can tag people if they uh, take certain actions. Mailer like doesn't have that, but at the same time, you can honestly just have different groups for different people based on the different actions they have been taking as well. So I don't see that as a huge minus, but what MailerLite allows you to do is, so if you go to conditions here, or sorry, the actions here, you will see that um, what we can do is we can move to a group, uh, the same as MailChimp, but in addition to that, we can also copy to a group which is something that you can do on MailChimp. And for me personally, at least a lot of times, I might not want to move someone out of a certain group. I might want to just copy that person to a different group. So I have them on two different groups. So that's something to keep in mind as well. But other than that, honestly, 
For all of the other features, they are pretty much the same between Miller Lite and MailChimp. All right, when it comes to landing page builders on MailChimp, you have a very simple looking landing page builder and I'm not a huge fan. Uh, I do think that other email marketing softwares have better landing page builders. And as you can see here, you have all of the basic elements and all of that. So it's, it's nothing horrible per se, but it's just not my favorite. Uh, MailerLite is slightly better. It's not um, that great. It's not l as great as maybe um, something like Active Campaign or Get Response. Uh, it's not a landing page uh, builder tool. But the one thing I like here that um, MailChimp doesn't have. So if I press on an image here, as you can see, I can just drag the image and I can resize it easily, which just makes this work workflow a little bit easier. Uh, whereas you can't do that with MailChimp. With MailChimp, if you have an image, you basically just need to press on the image and then you need to um, go in here and then you need to change the size. And another thing to keep in mind as well is when it comes to the blocks, um, as you can see, uh, MailerLite just has a few extra blocks that you can choose from. They have the countdown, they even have Instagram feed, um, and also they have these basically uh, three columns, two columns, content plus um, picture. Uh, whereas if we look at, let's just save this, whereas if we look at MailChimp, as you can see, they have fewer blocks and you can play around a little bit um, with the settings. It doesn't mean that it, it's that limited, but still, uh, I would say when it comes to just the ease of building these landing pages, I have to give it to MailerLite. I think it's a little bit easier. Another huge thing as well, what MailChimp doesn't have and MailerLite has, as you can see here, you have at the top, you have your landing page option and you have your success page. So basically, if you are creating an opt-in page on your landing page where someone puts in their email address and, and uh, subscribes to your email list, you can redirect them to a different page. And in here again, you can create a whole landing page and you can create a tripwire offer or you can perhaps have some sort of call to action, whatever, whatever it is. But this is very, very useful because at that stage, it's pretty likely that those people who just subscribed to your email list, they might take another action and you want to take advantage of that. Also, another major, major difference when it comes to landing pages is that MailerLite actually offers split testing so you can create a couple different pages and you can just split test them a b test them uh to see what works better and this is a very very powerful feature that usually you only get on landing page uh, building tools. So it's only get response, another email marketing tool that allows you to do this. But aside from that, it's just MailerLite. And if you're going to use these landing pages, having A-B testing is very, very powerful future and MailChimp does not have that. When it comes to landing page templates, MailChimp does have a few templates, but as you can see, it's just, 10 very basic looking templates. So honestly, I am pretty disappointed. Most of email marketing softwares have more than that. And when it comes to MailerLite, as you can see, they have a lot more. They have actually what? They have 38 in total. And I do know that they constantly create new ones. Uh, and as you can see here, actually, I do think that they have out of email marketing softwares, I think they have some of the best templates because some of these, as you can see here, some of these look actually like proper websites, like proper landing pages. So really um, the amount and the quality, I would say uh, MailerLite has win is winning this by far. When it comes to pop-ups, there isn't a huge, huge difference. With MailChimp, as you can see, you can create a very simple pop-up, just change the image, change the fields, put in some text if you want. Uh, with MailerLite, it's nothing crazy per se, but as you can see, you do have these blocks. So you can add a little bit more if you want into your pop-up. You can add uh, countdown timers. You can see social links, divider, and you can add some Im more images and text. And one more thing I like as well is that, again, I can just press on this image 
and I can easily resize this image. So it's nothing crazy. You don't have all of the features as you would on like a landing page, but still it's a little bit better experience when it comes to pop-ups with MailerLite as well. And also when it comes to MailerLite, they do have some templates. And as you can see, they actually are pretty good looking templates that you can choose from. So again, it just helps you out a little bit, especially if you're not a designer, whereas with MailChimp, uh, it basically just puts you into this editor where you can just change the image, change the text, and that is it. So I do like it that MailerLite gives you some options for, let's say, inspiration uh, for designs that you can kind of take and play with. When it comes to building out your emails, I would say that both of these platforms, more or less, they have same type of builder. So you have all of your different blocks and you can adjust some of the style, like fonts, colors, all that kind of stuff. I would say that with MailerLite, uh, you do have maybe a few options more. So as you can see here, if you look at all of the blocks, they do provide quite a few different blocks. So again, when it comes to just the interface and creating these emails, I would say that it is a little bit easier to do it with MailerLite. The next thing is creating websites. And surprisingly enough, both of these email marketing softwares, and these are the only ones that allow you to create your own websites, which honestly is just seems very, very advanced for email marketing tool. And when it comes to MailChimp, I do have to say that I had some glitches and it wasn't working that great when it came to building a website, uh, but I can't say anything bad, honestly, um, because you can create, as you can see, obviously you can go crazy as if you would use actual website building tool like WordPress or landing page builder, but you can create a pretty nice looking website. And as you can see here, um, you have all of your different sections and you can add all of the different blocks that you want to add, whether it's some text, images, subscribe buttons, about sections, so on and so forth. And kind of the same thing goes with MailerLite as well. Uh, I would say once again, when it comes to the blocks, you do have more blocks with MailerLite and I feel like you do need to have a look yourself uh, whether you're actually going to use these blocks or not. But I will say that uh, the experience itself creating the page I think was a little bit better with MailerLite. And again, if let's say you want to perhaps, let's say have survey surveys or quizzes, or you want to have countdowns, Instagram feed, whatever, whatever, they have these things on MailerLite. Um, so you can build out, I would say, a little bit more advanced website using MailerLite. All right, now when it comes to overall just use of both of the websites, both of the tools, I do have to say that MailChimp, uh, they do have a lot of things going on, even though from what I already said, it seems that it's not as much as MailerLite. But in a way, they make you it feel like they have more stuff going on. And I feel that the interface is a little bit more complex. And I'm not a huge fan of the interface. And I think if you are a beginner and just you're just starting out with email marketing, it can be a little bit intimidating and a little bit confusing. Whereas when it comes to MailerLite, I do have to give them props because I think they might be the easiest uh, email marketing software to use. They really make the whole experience very, very simple. And you have all of the simple sections, all the steps and everything, I would say, very, very simple user interface. All right, so now when it comes to pricing, MailChimp, first of all, they do have a completely free plan up to 2000 contacts, uh, which is pretty damn good. And MailerLite actually has a free plan as well. And it's up to 1000 subscribers. So you would think it's half of what MailChimp is but actually there is a catch because you do have to take it into consideration of how many emails you can send. And as you can see uh, with MailerLite, you can sell, send 12,000 emails a month. And the same thing uh, is 
the case with MailChimp as well. So honestly, it kind of depends. If you're only sending a couple of emails uh, for subscribers per month, then obviously it's better to have the free plan with 2000 subscribers. But most of the time you are going to send uh, more than just couple emails per month. So if you have 2000 subscribers and you're sending six emails a month, that is already 12,000 emails a month. So I would say more or less the free plan is kind of the same in terms of how, well, it's the same in terms of how many emails you can send. But even though I would say MailChimp has 2000 subscribers, I would say that doesn't make that much of a difference. What does make a huge difference is that you don't have a lot of features on the free plan with MailChimp that you do with MailerLite. So when it comes to A-B testing, when it comes to um, all the multi-step journey, so basically all the more advanced automations, which is something that you really want to have in your email marketing tool that is so, so, so vital. You don't have those things on MailChimp free plan. That's why I think it's really not worth going with the free plan with MailChimp. However, when it comes to MailerLite, you can actually have a look at all of what they don't have on the free plan. And they do have vast majority of the things. Uh, there are a few things like you're going to have MailerLite logo and you can't use custom domain and so on. But when it comes to all of the automations and all of that, and when it comes to landing pages, you have all of these things on the free plan, which is actually amazing. You, most of these things you don't have on any other email marketing software free plan. So when it comes to free plan, I would say MailerLite is definitely the best option and it's way better uh, than MailChimp because you just get a lot more features. Now, when it comes to the other plans, you got your essential plan and you got your standard plan with MailChimp. And I would say, honestly, you will most likely want to go with the standard plan just because you are getting all of these different uh, options that you really just, they are pretty much essential to have for email marketing software. So if you look at the standard plan, because I do think that standard plan basically compares to MailerLite, MailerLite only has one plan, but it basically compares to what MailerLite provides. So we can't really compare Essentials to MailerLite because Essentials is lacking some of the main automation features and so on and so forth. So it wouldn't really be fair to compare those two plans. So if we look at the standard plan and we choose 10,000 contacts, that's going to cost us $105 a month. And honestly, I think MailChimp is charging this because they are, I don't know whether they're the oldest email marketing platform, but they're definitely the biggest one. They are the most well-established name. That's why I honestly think that they are overcharging for what they are delivering. And when it comes to MailerLite, they are a lot newer software. So if you choose 10,000 subscribers here, as you can see, they only charge you $50 a month, which is absolutely insane. And if you choose annual plan, you even get 30% discount, which again, is just, it's, it's absolutely insane how cheap that is. So it's basically half of the price of MailChimp. And as you might have already understood, when you look at all of the different features in terms of what you have in automations, MailerLite has a couple features uh, that are extra compared to MailChimp. They have definitely better landing pages. I would say they probably have better um, website builders as well. And overall, the whole experience with MailerLite, I think, is much, much better. MailerLite is one of my favorite email marketing softwares and it only costs basically half of the price of what MailChimp costs. So I think for me, uh, it's really no brainer of which software to use. Okay, so I hope you found this video useful. As I said, I have special discounts and bonuses. So all of the links down below in the description. Also, as I said, I made another video on my main channel where I compare 
all of the different email marketing software. So definitely check that video out or in general, if you want some tips on digital marketing, online business, check out some videos on my main channel. If you found this video useful, make sure to press thumbs up, subscribe to this channel, put on those notifications, stay awesome and I'll see you soon.